so I uh, don't know what you did for Easter, but I went to Salem, Massachusetts. I had a good time over there, and um, met a friend of mine. We had some uh, late lunch, early dinner kind of thing. And uh, one of the funny parts is when you're dealing with alternative religions or different religions altogether, I find it funny how some would close on a traditional holiday. You know, you you would think, you know, uh, being retail stores they would be open half the stores were open half of them were closed but we all know if your first second generation maybe even stretching it to third whatever alternative belief system you're at you know you would think you would hold on to your traditions that way um, but instead you know you close down because you got family friends and such that celebrate that day as well it's kind of a conundrum I remember hearing stories among the Church of Satan members back in the 80s and 90s how um, hell I even think uh, Kenneth Anger even stated if there's a Christmas tree in any member of the Church of Satan's uh, living room you know kick down the door and tear it out kind of thing so it is kind of funny how even though you might have an ideology you embrace no matter what it is it's we're always seeming to be partly ideological in our traditions, our mores, if you will. But anyways, I figured I'd share that with you. I thought it was kind of fun and funny. I showed up about an hour or two early, and I just got to walk up and down the streets a little bit, and I saw it for myself. So anyways, um, enjoy the pictures. And um, anyways, hail Satan, find your way. And um, let's hope we get spring and summer to embrace, right? Talk to you soon. Bye.